So this is part of our video series. Uh, and further along, we're going to describe the different types of facelifts. But right now, I wanted to just review uh, the facial anatomy that's pertinent to facelift surgery so that you can understand what some of those terms later on uh, really mean. So the face is divided into several layers. From the outside in, the layers are the skin, the subcutaneous fat, the SMAS layer, which is a, a fibrous layer. Uh, then there's deeper structures like the facial nerve and the glandular tissues, along with some other facial muscles, uh, and then um, the bone. So all of these layers are important to, to be thinking about during the facelift. And we manipulate these layers depending on what needs to be done. So with the various layers, there's changes that occur as we age. So for example, in the skin, some of the early changes that we see in the skin layer, which is the top layer, is changes in pigment. Um, some people start to get uh, dilated vessels, which make certain areas red and others not. Uh, and then of course, the dreaded wrinkle. Um, you know, these are things that occur on the surface of the skin, but don't necessarily change the overall shape of the, of the uh, face. Deep to the skin, of course, there's a fat layer, and that fat layer does change with, uh, with changes in body weight, but not dramatically in most people. So the next layer, uh, you know, from external to inward, uh, or the deeper layer, is the SMAS layer. It's a thick, fibrous layer of muscle and fascia that is, is often what stretches and relaxes and descends to form the jowl, to form the sagging in the neck. And that's the layer that is sturdy enough that you can actually pull on it surgically. So techniques that, in, that rely on pulling on the skin typically have very little effect. And if they do have an effect, they're very short term. However, techniques that allow for elevation of the SMAS, which is a very thick, sturdy layer, have long uh, standing improvements or long standing results. So this is what we're really focusing on as facelift surgeons. Deep to the SMAS layer, are the facial nerve branches, the salivary glands, some of the larger fat compartments like the buccal fat space or the buccal fat. Um, and, uh, and then deep to that, of course, are the facial bones. So they all come into play when, we're, when we age. Uh, the bones get thinner, the fat sometimes thins, the SMAS layer descends or becomes lax. And you know, dealing with these various layers, particularly if you can deal with them independently, uh, you can really get a nice result by combining different types of treatments. So now that we've talked about the various layers uh, of the face, in our next video we'll talk about the different techniques that can be used to improve those layers.